So the APB 16 has come into my world because I've known Colin for many years. Uh, in fact, uh, geez, I think Dave Pensato introduced me to, to Colin, uh, you know, probably 15 or 20 years ago. And uh, I've always liked his, his software. I've always appreciated his, uh, his programming. Uh, I've thought that his, his, his coding was, was, you know, top notch. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, it was really funny because, in fact, they had asked me to visit them at the NAM show probably last year or, yeah, I think it was last year. And, um, and so I got to the booth and Colin was busy in the middle of another interview. And, um, and, and I was just staring in, at the booth and looking at the, the APB and I was like, oh, what, what, what is this? Because Colin doesn't make hardware, he makes software. So, uh, of course, I was very interested. And then he didn't really get out much of the description of what it was. And immediately I was like, this is perfect. This is exactly what we need to further expand our, our workflow, our, our ability to incorporate analog uh, devices into our, our um, you know, our setups. Um, I, I felt that this was, was just a fantastic idea. And then, of course, he got into the whole mechanics of it and how it's made and what it's made and how it works and, and all the details of that, uh, all of which are pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Um, so I, uh, I waited until he had one ready for me and immediately plugged it in and started working. Uh, I don't even think the software was complete yet, so I was still working on beta. Um, but I immediately started incorporating it into my, my workflow, into my mixes. Um, so there are, there are mixes that I did with beta software um, because I just love the way that it worked. It was so seamless as far as my, my workflow. I, I, I have a, a hybrid system, so I'm using lots of hardware inserts, lots of digital inserts, and now I have the APB, which is an analog insert, but doesn't require any, uh, any more interfaces. It works with just a Thunderbolt connection. And I get 16 channels of analog compression. This is an amazing thing. Um, and to be able to do 16 channels in a 1U rack with one Thunderbolt connector, that just expands my, my equipment base dramatically. And uh, it allows me more options, more options, more creativity. Um, and, and so immediately uh, the APB-16 was, was an easy integration into my workflow. A short description of, of what the APB-16 does is it connects easily to my laptop, my tower, whatever computer I happen to have with Thunderbolt. It immediately gives me 16 channels. And I say channels, but really it's instantiations of a plugin. So everybody knows instantiation, everybody knows a plugin. And there's a GUI associated with it. That GUI, that control surface, is, is automatable. So I can automate the analog attack and release settings of every compressor that's in here. I can automate inputs, outputs. I can automate uh, the key uh, uh, threshold. All of the things that we are used to doing seamlessly and easily in the digital domain, I can do with the APB-16, which is an analog device, which is an analog compressor device. Um, so I don't think about it as 16 channels necessarily. I think about it as 16 instantiations of analog compression. 
And that's an easy thing, I think, for people to understand. Mm-hmm.